old on here. Let's talk about Dad's Halloween costume. That was not that a was costume. Halloween. I don't think we can bring that up, Mum. No, you opened the door and you had underpants on. And you were singing the Backstreet Boys. Everybody. And doing this. Was it loaded? Yes. yes. Oh my God. You and were. that was the night the nanny crawled on her hands and knees towards Dad saying, I know you've always wanted me. Was covered. that where she straddled him in yes. bed? Yes. And, yes. Then, and then we blocked her toilet up. No, we blocked she her had toilet to pee with cling on film. film. Do you remember? Yes. And we, and we, we put, poured beans on her. Or no, yes. the word was pedigree chum. Where we yeah. oh you were out for okay, the count. Wait, and on. she was straddling you in bed. Let's contextualize this. Crazy. Hey, but that's how it goes. I need to go to a happier place. I feel romantic. Don't hop, Ozzy. Just go to bed, darling. Oh! Oh! All right, change the subject. We're back. What's going on, everyone? Morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Afternoon. Evening, and all the, all the rest. Uh, how's everyone doing? Good. I'm, I'm, I'm there, you know. Yeah, how's Tai Chi going? Well, I've, uh, I've only had two lessons, so I'm not really a master yet. <laughs> <laughs> Which I find it relaxing, to be honest, you know. Yeah? Nice guy? Yeah, very nice guy. Has he, uh, has he shown you the one-inch punch yet? No, he, I, I, was, I, was, I was unaware that, it, that it's uh, a martial art. Yeah. I thought, I just thought it was like a thing that he could keep fit, you know. Yeah, no, I guess, yeah, it is. Uh, isn't it? It's a, bun it's a bunch of, like, strikes done really slowly. But he's, he's, he, he show me, it looks like he's twisting, but all he's doing when he's up his body, he's moving his hand up and down. He moves his body to go with his hand. And it's all about catching an invisible wall. Right on. Cal, what have you been up to? I've been decorating for Halloween. De oh, well, perfect. Because this is the Halloween episode. <laughs> I've, like, I have a new obsession where every year I'm going to up my game. And this year it's pretty strong. Okay. But I believe you're taking it through to um, Sid's birthday. Of course I'm taking Oh, yeah, I'm also planning Sid's first birthday. Oh. November 6th, yeah. he is going to be one years old. You know, I'm really happy about that Sid's birthday is November 6th because my birthday can just be, like, glossed over now. I'm like, yes, just thank God. Or just make it about Sid. Don't you, don't you like birthdays? I fucking hate birthdays. The worst thing you... You want to piss me off? Sing me happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Speaking of that, it's, it's mum's birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday mum. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. 16 again. Survived another year. <laughs> yeah, another another circumference but, of the sun. You know what the thing is? Didn't any point Now, goes, that, what you just said there. What part? No, when daddy goes 16 again. Aggravates him to fuck when people send like, "Oh, you're twenty one again, I mean, sixteen again." I think it's the most what condescending thing. It's condescending, and it's like, but not funny. Do you like? Okay, here's a question though. Do I like my age? Yeah. Yes and no. Okay, what do you like about it? About the, the life knowledge that I've gained. I'm. In a comfortable yeah, place the, 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 the in my about, life for me. You can't do fuck all about it. You, there's you, nothing. You, there's nothing you can. You can't do. go slow down. But one thing I do know, notice, it seems to be getting faster as I get older. You know what's funny? Pearl even said that to me. Yeah. Pearl goes, this year just feels like it flew by because I was like, yeah, it's Nana's it birthday. Done. She's like, I can't believe how quickly the year's no, gone. It's, Jack, I keep thinking of the party. Yeah. And it's I like, it, so just seems, it just seems about, you know, four or five months ago. Yeah. The, the, no the, more. That party we had in the guy, it didn't seem that long. No, no. it doesn't. It's like, the talk, talk of this, I was watching thing about 9-11 the other day. And it doesn't seem that long ago that it would, that would happen when we were in New York. What about the Osbournes? 21, 22 years ago. Yeah. That's it's when the show unbelievable, premiered. unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it just everything. You know, when people say, you know, the, the thing you can't buy is time. No. And you cannot. And it does go. It, you know, when you hear it, like your grandparents would say, oh, time, don't waste it. It goes so quick. Yeah, but, and but you go, yeah, oh, I can yeah. remember it was, there's been times when I've been on the road in sort of some non specific town going, I wish I wasn't there. I wish I was there. I wish you, and you, and you go, you go all the times you wish you weren't doing things. All well, these well, things weren't happening, you know. You, you, you suddenly go, you go. 
75 this year. Mm. It, it just flies by. Yeah. I know, Sharon, when we, when we celebrated our 40th wedding anniversary, it's uh, where did the time go, you know? Do, okay, so there's the guy, I don't know if you've seen him, he's some tech billionaire who's tr essentially trying to stop his aging process. Yes, yes, yes. Would he's you... worse than I am, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> would Jesus. you Would you halt your aging process? Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, no, because it's, it's just... I, you know, I, think, I don't uh, think you can. I mean, I mean, th th I was watching something on YouTube. Mom's about like, I don't, at least I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about you can extend your uh, lifetime. Yeah, uh, things I can get now. No, but I, I, the, the thing is, that when you, you could live, when, uh, if you could live fifty years longer than you, you, you no, if you could say, say live to one hundred and fifty or one hundred and forty. No, what's the point in being one hundred and fifty? You live, you can't wipe your ass. No, you but, can't but, chew but, but, your but, food. But what if, what if the way you are right now, they could be like, hey, physically, you know, your mental, your, you know, cognitive capabilities, all saying, that, like a vampire. Be, yeah, if you were, if you weren't fucking no. brain dead, no. If well, my whole family so was able much. to be a vampire with me, I'd be fine. But I wouldn't want to bury want to my child. Yeah. Well. Quite common that people live to 90 something and their siblings die off before they do. Both, yeah. my, um, both my son's grandparents on his dad's side are all 102. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. My, my grandmother was 100. But are they with it? Yes. Yeah. They're yeah. really with it. My grandmother that's brilliant. was... brilliant. My grandmother was right as, as, as on my mum's side was right like Spartan. She knew everything. She knew what, what she wanted. They tried to put her in an old age pension. I met her once. Yeah, 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 sure. I did. I met her once, and she was she came to um, a, a reception that Ozzy threw for um, my mum. Yeah, for your mum when he played Birmingham the first time on his. Um, solo tour his first solo tour and it, he was in Birmingham and he threw a party for his mum and I met his grandmother and I couldn't believe it that I'm sat next to this lady she was nearly a hundred 98 98 and she had a tattoo on her arm yeah and uh, I'm uh, like yeah. I can a heart no, it was A-U, Arthur Union that was my granddad yeah with a heart around it uh, no, not it's, filled it's, in and I'm like Runs in the family. Yeah, I'm like, when the fuck did you get that, Mrs.? I couldn't believe it. That's really, it's very, I mean, that's Red, wild. Yeah, I do, yeah. I, I think there's some gypsy in my soul. I, I, didn't, didn't you do a, a, somebody did a, a, a search on what? My... Your sister's got you yeah. a whole book about I, it. Yeah, uh, we've, got, we've got the book. Yeah, I've it... yet to find his I don't know it's in storage in England. <laughs> but it's uh but yeah every well, everyone in your family came from like workhouses. Yeah. Um but and mom's. and and, oh, and, yours and as my well? mother's yeah. Mm -hmm. When I went back on that show where they go back on your you know family heritage and all of that. Yeah, all workhouses. They went to um America on a boat a work boat and they were like that's, promised that's, that's to work slavery, slavery. yeah it was they were promised that a great life in america and you worked in the cotton factories mm. which were the just mills, yeah. the mills but, but, and but, you were kept as literally as a well, slave that's... and then when you couldn't pay your rent and you the place where you lived when you worked in the cotton mill was owned by the cotton mill mm -hmm. but you still had to pay them rent so basically they paid you and you gave it them back again yeah. for the rent and the food and That's when you were sick <laughs> when you were sick they'd out you and put you in a in like a TB ward or something a tuberculosis ward no in a workhouse oh really yeah that was it. You you were all in the workhouse, and that's where they were. But what happened when, when you didn't pay your rent? They would take you if you were sick, no, okay. and you couldn't you pay your the, rent. You, you work for the workhouse. Yeah. They buy, get, get no, you, no, no, no. They work to the cotton mills. Okay, you work for the cotton mill. Yeah. They buy you a house. You yeah. pay the cotton mill rent. Yes. You can't pay the rent. What are the what happens then? Then they put you in the workhouse. You're already there. No, you're not. Because the, the mill, the mill, and the about? mill and the workhouse were different. Oh, oh. Yeah. totally different. It was no better than a workhouse, but at least you could. And they didn't give you a house; they gave you one room, and they would 
There would sometimes be ten I people like, in one room. Oh, I can't. You only need one room. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's talk about one of our sponsors, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a skilled-based, real-money daily fantasy sports game. How does it work? You might ask. You pick two to six players, and if they will go more or less than their Prize Picks projections. Price Picks is currently operating in over 30 states and Canada, not including Ontario. Uh, and even better, Price Picks now offers a recently improved deposit and withdrawal experience with the option to use Apple Pay for quick deposit into your account. So freaking easy. Why do I love Price Picks, you might ask? Well, it's because I just said it. It's freaking easy and you can win big. I can make my Price Picks entries right here on my cell phone. In 60 seconds or less, I do it when the kids are putting their shoes on to head out to school, when I'm cooking dinner, whatever. It's just easy. I can literally open up the app, see what's see what games are coming up, pick my guys, and there we go. So, Price Picks adds a ton of excitement to my sports viewing experience. I watch the progress in real time, and I can win up to 25 times my entry amount. I'm not a great picker, I must say, but that doesn't mean you can't win up to 25 times your entry amount. I mean, that's huge. So go to prizepicks.com forward slash Osborns and use the code Osborns for a first deposit match up to $100. You heard that right? Go to prizepicks.com forward slash Osborns and use the promo code Osborns and we will match your deposit up to $100. Daily fantasy sports made easy. Let's talk about vampires again then. Okay. Well, being a vampire, would you... I, I don't... I just, you know what it is? I just don't want to, like... Live forever. Well, no, I... Horrible. I don't want to suck the blood. I think that's horrible. People are dirty. Can well, you imagine everything you'd get? HIV, you'd you, get herpes, you could get chlamydia, well, yeah, got, uh, everything. But... Anything new? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, I, I don't think I don't think vampire... I think the whole thing of being a vampire is the only way to kill you is to chop your head off or stab you in the heart. I don't, I don't think there's many vampires out there with... Herpes. Herpes. I'm gonorrhea. sure they are. I'm <laughs> sure they're all dripping. <laughs> Dribbling. Dribbling, dripping, oozing. Would you want to be live forever? live forever? No, definitely not. No. no I wouldn't want to live forever. Do you want to know what causes aging? What? Stress. No. Oh. Breathing. Oxidization of cells causes cells to die. Die. And the fact that we it, breathe is what no, is killing re, us. Reprodu reproduction. It's reproduction. It doesn't, it's, as you get older, you, you don't it, reproduce. Well, and it's, I reckon and every it's, night when you go to sleep, you shed a, uh, skin. Yeah, like, like a layer snake. of skin. Yeah. Ugh. That's why. Dusty. I'm very knowledgeable today. Don't you see it in the air? Like the air. That's why I have air oh, filters. I remember, we've been to a few places over the years. Oh, God. Don't what is it? Your, your mattress doubles in weight after 10 years? You know that? From all the skin? My mattress is so but old. But you, you've been seen watching the news. You know, in theaters, there's an epidemic of bed bugs now. Mm -hmm. Fuck it now. Why wouldn't you guys want to live forever and be you feel youthful forever? God, no. You just get tired of everything, no, Jack. I mean, mind you, the, I mean, in, in our lifetime show, we've seen some incredible things happen. Like, yeah, we have amazing, amazing people, but at the same time, too, seen rotten, ugly, grotesque things, and it just seems to be getting worse. That, that, it just all seems part to of be journey, it, journey in there. Yeah, but oh, it, it, when you when it, it outweighs itself, when the balance is yes, I mean, more, I mean, if you if you were around in the, in the thirties, it wouldn't have been. You know. No, death, doom, and destruction, and it's ugly, and but I wouldn't want to live it's, forever. It's, it's getting there now. Yeah. But statistically, they say the world is safer now than it's ever been. Oh, rubbish. No, they do. Sti what like if, you, if you If you were to look at it, it you're just more aware of things now because of social media and 24-hour news cycle. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't really watch much TV anymore. Because it's like... I know you're, you're, you're a YouTuber now. I'm big time. Oh, you. and on the fact we we technically are YouTubers, we just broke a hundred thousand subscribers. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. YouTube will be sending us a plaque. Will they? Yeah. Where are we going to stick the thing? We're gonna. Well, we'll have to add it to your your wall of uh, fame. Yeah, your wall of fame. Does this go all over the world? Then? Everywhere. Yeah. 
wow. Yeah, wherever you get your YouTube. Yeah, when I was just home in England, people were coming up and saying they're listening to it, and it's just great to it's think funny. it's going everywhere. So, so on, we're drifting off the topic. Okay, back to back to let's let's talk Halloween because this is our Halloween episode. So happy Halloween, but everyone! You know, you know, Halloween. When I was a kid, we never had it. Was it? Was we never because it wasn't popular in no, England. No, I did. And we do you know Guy, what? We, we, we had a thing called Guy Fawkes Night. Still which there. Was, which was uh, November the 5th, and we, we used to go begging. We used to make a, 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 an effigy of look up, get a pair of old pants, fill it full of crap and fucking... Uh, Straw. No, to Arthur Guy Fawkes, who tried to blow up the houses uh, of uh, Guy, Arthur Guy Fawkes. No. He said Arthur. After Guy I Fawkes. He said Arthur. <laughs> Who the fuck's Arthur? Well, okay. this guy Guy Fawkes trying to blow up the houses of Parliament. No, they did that. Burned him, uh, hung drawer and quartered him, which is a gnarly thing. And they burned him. Uh, they, they don't kill you. They cut your guts out. And... Yeah, they just keep you alive do long you, enough. Do you remember Guy Fawkes? Yeah, night? of course. Yeah, we used to have parties every yeah. year. You yeah. remember them, Kel? Yeah. yeah. I remember I, all our fireworks. All and... right, so let's go back to living in England, and you'd lived here, and you were going back and forth, and it was... Um, Halloween. At the Newman's house. What was that story? At the Newman's house in Hampstead, and you wanted to go out trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. And the Newman kids didn't know what it was, and you said you'd take them. I gave you eggs and flour. Yeah. And... We, whoever didn't come to the door, we threw the flour through the... The, the, the letterbox. The, the letterbox, <laughs> which in England is like a little slit in your door. So, in your front door, yeah. So, and, so we were throwing eggs and flour into people's front doors. If they and didn't. the thing was, nobody knew what fucking Halloween was in England in those days. Well, they knew what it was. They just didn't celebrate it with trick-or-treating. No, it, it, it was just like... Uh, you know, the memorial... I mean, some people would have parties. Was something that you did, it, it wasn't like... Dun, dun, dun. No, it wasn't like it is now in England. It's a huge holiday just like it is here. But 15 years ago, Longer. 20 years ago, it was like, nothing. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, 15, 15 years ago. 25 years ago. Yeah, it I was absolutely nothing. Yeah. So anyway, I sent you out with eggs and flour. You came back to the Newman house with the kids and then all the neighbours came round and complained. Do you and remember? They and then Casper, you made us go back and clean no, it up. Casper, yeah. they one of them grabbed Casper in the street and made him come back and clean it up. <laughs> yeah. I remember that and me and Flo were dying. Running, we were running from these people. So the, the essence of the story is in England when we were growing up as kids it wasn't practiced like it is now. I remember when we were living in the Pacific Palisades here in Los Angeles. Yeah. And the first Halloween, that was the first Halloween we went real trick-or-treating on Halloween. And I, I can remember thinking this is exactly like E.T. When they went out trick-or-treating oh, yeah. and the sun was setting and it was still warm we out. Went, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, E.T. is real. Like, this, that's a <laughs> real thing. And I just got so excited. It was like the greatest night of my life up until that point. Did you remember what mom let me dress up as? No. What was it? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, here we go. First, I'm going to start with. I saw a costume in the window as we were driving past Blockbuster. So remember where Blockbuster was on La Cienega? Mm -hmm. And then Trashy Lingerie yeah. that is still there. And you have to get your Halloween costume. You have to be a member and then you have to get your Halloween costume months in advance, whatever. Tell people what Trashy Lingerie is. Trashy Lingerie is like they make custom anything sexy like for, a little maid costume yeah and, or but they'll turn anything into a sexy halloween costume a and doctor's it is, outfit it is like crotchless panties and and all sorts <laughs> i'd go in there and be like can you make a sewer worker sexy outfit <laughs> and they'd be like exactly we can do that for you <laughs> but anyway, I, I decided I wanted to be a French maid. I don't know why, but I wanted to be a French maid. And I just remember mothers gasping at me when I was walking to the different houses and people, I didn't understand <laughs> Did why. you have a tickling stick? Yes. <laughs> you yeah. filthy, perverted. And it's only now that I realize I'm like, Mom, why did you let me do that? You would, uh, if that's what you felt inside, I let you be the way you felt. <laughs> But she was a young girl. D uh, well, back then it was different. It was but the nineties. I just remember kids could be kids back then. 
Yep. But I was a 12 year old dressed up as the. No, you, a were, younger than, you were younger than 12. <laughs> You were no. younger than 12. Because no, this, this a, the a, year that I'm talking about. I'm, oh, did I, you have a frilly skirt? I can't yeah. remember. Mm-hmm. I had the whole everything with the corset and the uh, my footwear were heels with the feathers. Oh, my God. Do you remember uh, Do you remember the party that we went to, the Halloween party? I don't know what it was for. We got invited to some, like, party and Amy went dressed with the, with the wings from... She was the... Like, the, she went dressed like Romeo the, and Juliet. And she had the the big giant angel we, wings that mm-hmm. we still have. Yeah. What we've was got that them. party? Because I can remember being there and seeing like a bunch of like Nickelodeon actors, and it was in LA. I oh, don't yeah. know. Remember that? Because I remember yeah. we saw. Um, she was a kids actress. She was uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, Melissa Joan Hart. Yes, I Love remember seeing her. her at the party when we were, and I was being like, "Oh, Nickelodeon actress." Um, yeah. <laughs> was it? <laughs> I don't remember what the party was for, but I remember I had a, I had the alien. I got the alien costume, and it had the big alien head. I don't remember either. Uh, you don't. I remember because we were in town for your birthday, and that was the year you got that giant frog cake, and we were living at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. Do you remember the year that you dressed up as the labyrinth? That was your best Halloween that costume ever. That was my best Halloween costume ever. I I hired Brooke. Mm-hmm. So Kelly has a a stylist friend. And I wanted, and I was throwing a Halloween party. It was 2005. It's 2005, and I threw a Halloween party with my roommate. Um, and it, uh, I went as David Bowie from Labyrinth, and I had the What's full. The, remember, the remember, whole thing. remember that movie that David Bowie did with all the puppets, and it was like a weird mythical. Jim Henson did all the puppetry. The in Power it. of the Babe. Yeah, you, if I showed you the poster, you'd remember it. But oh. I and you as... would juggle the crystal ball. Apparently, I would, uh, somebody else was saying you you you, you dead dead ring for you. Oh, it was it was perfect. It was so to the good. point when it I was... like I walked into the party and people were like, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" It was it it was shocking how good it was. Yeah. Why, was why best... wasn't I invited? Uh, oh because I was 20 and I was like running around crazy. Okay. I wasn't going to invite my mom to a house party in Hollywood that, you know. My my friend, my my friend Richie. <laughs> was reefer being smoked? Oh, it was. Well, I was sober by then, but it was a, it was like a, what you would imagine when when you saw a house party from like a 1980s movie. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it this was. House party <laughs> was. I don't know. How, how long have you been sober now? 20, been... 20 years. That's amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Dude. Well done. Yeah, well and well first done. time. Yeah. Yay. I'm so oh, Rub yeah. it in, mom. Rub it <laughs> in. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Did um, he just say I'm sober? <laughs> yes. P- presently? <laughs> <laughs> at this or moment? This... <laughs> at this moment in time. <laughs> um the Well, I can't I'm the dad. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to think what my best Halloween costume was. I think it would be, it would be a mix up between. Oh, I was a professional. I used to go on stage and run with my Halloween costume. Hold on here. Let's talk about Dad's Halloween costume. Do you remember your birthday party? That was not that a costume. Halloween. I don't think we can bring that up, Mum. Why? Well, go on, Why? Go on. Because of what? The... No, you opened the door and you had underpants on, shoes, socks, and you were singing the Backstreet Boys. Everybody. And doing this, yeah, the dance, yeah, yeah, and was it, was it loaded. Yes. yes, oh my god, you and were. that was the night the nanny crawled on her hands and knees towards dad, saying, I know you've always wanted me, and I ripped the back of her head back. And then we was covered. that where she straddled him in yes. bed, yes, and, yes. Then, and, then, and then we blocked her toilet. Up. No, we blocked she her had toilet to pee with cling film. Yes. And we, and we, we put, poured beans on her, no, yes. the word was pedigree chum. Oh you God. were out for okay, the count, wait, and let's, she was straddling okay, stop, stop, you stop, stop, stop. in bed. Let's contextualize this. Who was this? this? Oh, let's, please. This we... was our last big party before we moved to America. It was Kelly and I's joint birthday, because Kelly's birthday is October 27th, mine's November 8th, and we often would do a joint Halloween-themed birthday party. We had a huge marquee in the garden. Yeah. We had fireworks. We Did had we dance have sexy floor. dances? Were... And the mothers didn't like the I dances. Think no, we had sexy it was like, no, we just saw like... this. No, you, you were, were there. there in body. You were there in body. In mind, you were somewhere bouncing off the rings of Saturn. Um, <laughs> so you... But you were very good with the parents when they were coming to collect the children. You were so nice. 
facetious. I'm being facetious. Okay. You would open the door in your underpants. And wasted. S- wasted, singing Backstreet Boys songs, and bringing in the parents to collect their kids. It was fabulous. And I can remember. I know I am. <laughs> and I can remember Fucking the kids asshole. coming in the kitchen going, Mom, he's singing Bad Street Boys. Please tell him to stop. <laughs> so then I was in charge of putting Dad to bed. I put Dad to bed. And then the nanny who will remain nameless. Ugh, For legal reasons. Who will remain nameless. Thanks, yeah, Mom. We're not gonna... And she crawled on her hands and knees towards Dad and then got well, up. She loaded Everyone yes, wasted. got drunk. wasted. Everybody I was think, drunk. I think the fucking dogs got drunk at this party. I wasn't. No, you weren't because um, you were trying to hold it all together. <laughs> and then she got on top of you and straddled you and said something along the lines of, I know that you've always found me sexy. And I grabbed her by the back of the head and pulled her back. And I remember oh. I was, I had a red wig on. Oh, yes, I, I remember. And I pulled her off. And then she was so drunk. Mm-hmm. She blacked out. Drunk. Blacked out. Then and she... then, so we were like, fuck you, you're you're dead to us. So Jack and I got like the cling film, put it over the toilet because we knew she was going to throw up. So if she threw up, it would come back on her. And then- That's not very nice. Then we got yes, coffee grounds and poured it all over her, opened dog food and poured it all over her, like wet 1980s pedigree chum, like disgusting. disgusting stinky. Oh, you wouldn't Look, give it to your dog baked now. beans. We did baked, baked beans. beans. Soup. Salt and pepper that yep. we like crushed all through. So, you're being, you're being so listen, true. no, hold listen, on. Listen, listen, listen. Yes. <laughs> so she was out. I mean, just out. And blacked then, out. The next morning, Mum's like, "Okay, kids, let's get ready." So, okay. And have we, we all went to our. Have we? Have none of us been in that ever? Ever been in that? Oh, absolutely. I've, I've been worse. But we're not talking about us right now. We're telling we a story. We can talk about us. <laughs> we're telling but, a story. But anyways. We all went out for breakfast the next day thinking she'll be so embarrassed. Yeah. She won't be here when she get we yeah, when that, we get back, we won't have to see her. And we'll clean up the mess, whatever, and go. She's gone. We come back and she's only fucking sit, sat in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. No, I like thought it was she normal. Left. I thought no. she cleaned up and left. She no. did, Kel. She did. No, she, she cleaned she up dipped. and did a runner. Everything. No. I promise you. She was back. No. no. And then that was the last she time said, we ever And then yeah. said no. I tell you when, when we did Ozfest at Milton <laughs> yes. Keynes, she turned up backstage. Yes, she did. She turned oh, up yeah, backstage. That, 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 you said, mm. yes. Fuck off. She came, the security came born, for me and tradition. said, One of your old nannies is here and she's brought her friends with her. Can she come back and see you? And I'm like, who the hell would that be? So I went to the gate and it was her. And she said, oh, I'm here with all my oh, well, friends. She said, I won't, I'll, be, I'll be good. Yeah, she said, I promise I'll be good. Can I come in? And I went to security out. I turned my ass and left. <laughs> blood in, blood out. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our great Halloween story. I think I was dressed up as a nun. You were dressed you up were as a nun. I was, yeah. I was dressed up as a nun. Yeah. I was, I don't know what I was. I was like some 1990s punk angel. I think you were a vicar. Yes. He was was a vicar. It started as a vicar and then you ended as a streaker. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) Which was fabulous. I, um, the, going back to the Halloween party that I, that I threw. But was I having fun? You had had a blast. You had a fantastic time and you you didn't have a care in the world. (laughs) It was a great party. It was, it was I think that was one of was our best family parties. Was that when we had all the fireworks? Yes. Yeah. And the big tent in the back garden and the DJ dance floor. It was gr- it was a great party actually. How many so when you had a bad up, a rough upbringing? How many families do you know are going to have a marquee and a fucking professional firework? And a strip tease from a father. And a a sex sex slave for a nanny. (laughs) There it is. You know, that's that's grotesque. It is grotesque. <laughs> now, da- now, Dad. Now that Dad's remembered who it is, he's like, he's like, feel sick. I feel sick. Why be in that one? Uh, no. Oh, I remember what she said. What? She straddled Dad and told him that she wasn't wearing any knickers. Oh, no. no. Oh, I remember what no. she said. No. Nanny knickers. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh, I Mike. swear, I'm not making that up. I remember it. I'm not wearing any. <laughs> and I think we put instant coffee all over. Yeah, it all too. over her yeah, mum. Yeah, it was. A, it was a thing. It was definitely. Um, 
In this day and age, it would be uh, very frowned upon. (laughs) Would it? I think it probably would fall. Well, actually, I don't know. Because of what she She did, did, I don't know. Do you remember when we went to, um, we did put some things down her toilet too. We went to a Chinese and we had lobster. No, that 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 was Jeremy. Oh, yeah. we, did it as a joke. Yeah. we did it as a joke to and Jeremy. And we put the lobster in the toilet. Yeah, as a joke to him. Not a real I lobster. Actually, I actually heard from Jeremy recently. You did? Yeah, he shot me a text message. Yeah. Love Jeremy. Yeah. He was one of the kids' nannies. Manny. Fabulous, fabulous he was the nanny. Best. Yeah. Love Jeremy. Call us, Jeremy. We miss you. Um, Is he married? He's Yeah, he's got a bunch of kids. He's no. married. Yeah, I, love yeah. I bet, he, I bet he's a the... good father. Yeah. I bet he is yeah. too. Uh, a yeah. lovely bloke. And Robert Trujillo. Introduced us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still good friends with Robert. That's why he texted Aww. me. He was coming to town to see the Metallica, and he was like, "Oh, if by chance are you around? Aww. If you want to." And I was, I was busy, and obviously the the arena's miles away. How? What has been your guys's favorite Halloween memories? Aside from having crazy parties with, like, aside my from my favorite that, thing is going trick or treating with the kids. Yeah. That just seeing them get so excited over their costumes and having them like the year that um. Pearl was 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 a gumball machine and ended up looking like Takashi Six Nine, <laughs> and we we're like, "What the hell have you got as a gumball machine?" Yeah, but she Where had was this I? wig on that you got her, this and she literally rig. looked ex- like she was like people were like, "Oh, is she Takashi Six Nine? And we we're like, "No, she's a gumball machine." Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> Do you know, you know who Takashi Six Nine is? Yes, he's no, I don't. Okay, Takashi Six Nine is, is Takashi or Takashi? Takashi. He's this rapper from, oh, from New York. He's, he's got, in prison. He, well, no, he he's not in prison. He just keeps getting beaten up. Well, oh. he, he got out of prison because he ratted on everyone. Yeah. And so he fabulous. got out of prison and, and he, he just gets his ass beat everywhere he goes. Like he just got beaten up in a gym and he's got this rainbow color hair and his oh, teeth. Tats on yeah, the face. Tats on the face. His teeth are all color, like yeah. um, all well, iced well, out. He's got, well, his hair is all multicolored. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. That's how you, you are. We're dressing him as Takeshi Six Nine for no Halloween. No way, Jack. Yes, we are. You. No way. No. You can fuck I up. wanted to go. I wanted to go for Halloween as. Have you seen Kanye? The way he wraps himself. As Kanye's you can't girlfriend, see his the face. wife. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm the wife, and Ozzy's going to be Kanye. Are you going to put the fa- the football well, outfit on? The football and, outfit on, Daddy. This fucking party going to happen? Well, I I think you guys should come trick or treating. Excuse with me. Us. And I'm going to get the you big pillow and the tights. Why wouldn't you want to come trick or treating with the kids? Oh come on, Dad! Lady, it's so important because the best thing is we can go to Toluca Lake. They'll put you on the back of a golf cart so you don't have to walk anywhere, and it's so oh, fun to seventy-five years of age. But have you ever seen the girls? Because it, it's exciting with the girls. They and get the baby. so excited. I. Minnie was telling me yesterday at lunch what she was going to be for Halloween. What is she going to be? She was so excited. She was telling me. I have no idea what she was saying. And I just kept looking. I'm going, oh, that's amazing, Minnie. What is she going to be? I I have no no idea. I don't know. And she, but she has a whole story. She's oh, wait, told me she's she got me? the outfit. She's she... got the outfit, and it's this and it's that. And I'm like, oh, really? I wondered what you guys were talking about. I have no you idea. Looked, you... <laughs> I loved, I loved that it was like mum's birthday dinner yesterday, and like everyone, like, and I'm just at like the end of the table, <laughs> like the kids and everyone. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, hi. I know, I was waving, <laughs> but no, I have no idea what she's going to be because. I thought she was going to say a fairy. I know what Andy's or... going to be. I know Andy's going to be a ghost, a sheet ghost. Yeah, she wants to be a sheet ghost. <laughs> Pearl wants to be a like a scary porcelain doll. I'll so... just come as myself then. <laughs> there you go. Do you want to know what Sydney's going to be? No. You don't? No. You don't want to know? Yes, I do. So why do you say no? No, I thought you said, do you know what he's going to be? Yeah, that's be? what I thought, yeah. Yeah. Um. He's So the group one for Halloween, because he has several costumes... Is gonna be um, Edward Scissorhands. Oh, that would be amazing. Well, You're gonna put it? the wig on him. Yeah, we. Fabulous. I ordered the wig today, and uh, that's a good one. We're gonna uh, cut it up and make it all messy. And he's gonna have the scissor hands. Uh, he's got the little scissor hands on the outfit, and I'm gonna go as um, Winona Ryder from the movie. Um, you should. And Ozzy and I as Kanye and new wife. That would be absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna get the big purple did. pillow, and yeah. I'm gonna wear just tights. Oh my god. And oh, then you, but you sure. gotta stick a pillow down down the back of your your your, your, your tights, tights so you look well. like a massive ass. No, she doesn't have a massive ass. I've got no ass. It looks okay. like the front. I've got no ass at all. But um, 
And your mum's ass is sucking in air. No, I lost my ass. So in San Francisco. Yes, that's right. The big I purple pillow. Ass. Don't you think it would be great? I think it would be very funny. Yeah, I do too. Um, that would now. Not that there were, I know there were some fond memories, but did you enjoy that about when you were on the talk about how you guys would dress up for Halloween? Loved it. It Loved was my favorite it. episode. Always we did such, we had such fun and I always used to laugh because Sarah would be something ridiculous. Like and what? It would, I'd just piss myself. Um, I can't, she'd always be something like a fairy or yeah. something and you'd go like, Sarah, what are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> she was always fabulous at that time. That's funny. Uh, when did you guys first enjoy Halloween in America? With you guys, but not it until was Halloween we had you. every night for me. So it's a, first of, not this, until first we of had January, nineteen seventy-two. Re but like, even when you were touring or doing, gigs. I, I, I remember doing doing a show on Halloween with Black Sabbath, Denver, Colorado, and they had a they had a a, a contest who had the best Halloween costume. And there were some Im amazing things. Really? Even back then? Oh, yeah. I mean, they had penises, with, 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 with giant penises. And... I love that. That's where you go. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great costume. It was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, my friend had the, the greatest Halloween <laughs> costume. He, he came to my Halloween party that I threw back yeah. then, and he was wearing just a trench coat. He rips open his naked. No, he was wearing a flesh-colored bodysuit, and he had a dildo attached to it. So it looked like, and he's like, "I'm a streaker," and it looked like he was naked, but he wasn't. wasn't. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I, for a second, it was dark. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And he had this like naked bodysuit on, and he was a streaker. So that was a Pretty good one. Funny. I was dying, and uh, my one friend at a Halloween party came as. Um, remember the show Home Improvement? Yeah. Remember yes. remember that show? Of course. Remember how his neighbor always came to the fence and you just saw the fence. You the just saw the fence and then you saw the top. What was the neighbor's what was his name in Home Improvement? Wilson. And he he what he did, he got the same kind of hat, he had like a fishing hat, and he, my friend took some like white picket fence, <laughs> strapped it to his body and just walked around with a fence strapped on That's him so funny. with a hat on and he was the neighbor from Home Improvement. I so love that. Yeah, funny. It was hilarious. I think you get to really know people around Halloween because you, you get to see their sense of humor, their, you know, what makes them unique, <laughs> what their taste is. And it's like, of course, you can be one of the classics, but when people get inventive, I, I'm always really appreciative. Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I one of the that. things, one of my Halloween costumes that I've been trying to figure out how to execute is Ariana Grande's ponytail. But you just, just want to be, be the ponytail. Just be the ponytail. I think there's a way to do it. But I'm like, I don't know how to execute it. Because I think you, that would be hilarious. You need, like, hilarious. you need to find someone who's like a props guy. But I'd just end up looking like Cousin It and I wouldn't want hair in my you mouth. You know, the house on Sunset Boulevard. The witch's uh, house. He does it. No, they used to, but they don't anymore. Yeah. They don't keep that. it up. I he know. They were doing that for Fucking years. It, there was a, a very famous house on Sunset, um, right in the Sunset Strip as you get into Beverly Hills, one of the big mansions right on a corner. And it used to be owned by a very famous Hollywood set, de set designer, mm -hmm. movie set designer. Oh, and every, 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 whether it was Easter, Valentine, Easter, Easter, Easter Christmas, he would dress up the outside I mean, of his house. the fucking garden was like amazing. And there used to be lines of traffic. Just, just to, to see, see his house yeah, yeah, at yeah. night because yeah. it would be so spectacular. And when killed. when he died, <laughs> he sold it to a guy I know. Yeah, I knew too. And if, yeah, you did. Yeah. And in the um, sale agreement, it said that he had to continue because he had all the set designs in the garage, and then it just dwindled away. So they don't do it. Cars. He had a bike. <laughs> 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 that was good, right? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Um, all right. Do you guys, does anyone have a favorite, like, scary ghost story that they like? Um, I mean, mom's, I mean, a ghost story of like. Or just like any kind of, you know, it's Halloween, you know, maybe keep things a little spooky. You guys got have any, what's the spookiest thing? I know thing? people always expect us to have some sort of like satanic ritual in our everyday life, but we, I, I don't really think any of us. 
Well, no, okay, so I'm not even... Doesn't, no, the most, the, no, the most satanic thing we've ever done was when we put the chicken on the um, neighbor's fence. Mum, it was a ham. No, oh, yeah. no, we put a chicken yeah, 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 your dad yeah, yeah, yeah. did. That's right. The, the cop knocked, knocked the door that day. And he yeah. said... And he says, you you got to stop... Cursing oh, yeah. the neighbor. Because the one guy, the, 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 the coyotes the was the getting the, the dogs. So the guy, the security guy says, you know what you got to do? You got to get a chicken... Fully full of antifreeze and find out the run. I was, I was what? Well, go, go to the supermarket, get a chicken, fill it full of, get some antifreeze and put it inside it. Two weeks later, I forgot about it. Two weeks later, the cop knocks the door and he goes, I had a complaint. I said, I've complained about what? He's been leaving uh, satanic effigies on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? He says, I said, what are you talking about? He says, you've, you've been leaving the satanic uh, things on the bed. I said, what the hell are you talking about? And then it's a penny drop. When the penny dropped, I went, oh, my God. I said, no, no, it's just it's kids messing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, aside, I love that that's where we got, that, that's where everyone goes when I ask what's the scariest thing to happen. A chicken with antifreeze. Yeah. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. The security guy told me. Oh. It's because... It's but because, where did you get antifreeze? Do you know, that's I don't know. I can shop. That was the security guy. When I broke my neck, he, he put me on the back of the ITV and drove me. Drove you around, yeah. And they, they said, what, what did you, why, why did you? I said, I don't know. I was unconscious. Yeah. Oof. Anyway, moving right along. Um, now, the fact that you guys have come on paranormal ghost hunts with me and all that shit, do you guys believe more in ghosts now? The one the one that you showed me which stays in my mind is at Irish school. Yeah. And if we do it again, I'd love to go around Ireland. Ireland's beautiful. I love Ireland. I am crazy about Ireland. Sample some of the black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, I love Ireland. Dad's like, yeah, let's go to Ireland. I can have some Guinness. Let's go back to Roundstone. Yeah, that was fun, yeah. It's the most when beautiful we old fishing village. Mm -hmm. When we went to Rand, it's just a little village. It's like a, like a postcard village. We, 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 we walked, and it, uh, there was um, like a, a jetty down to the ocean. And they were taking it. There was a net, net full of crabs. And I said to fishing Sharon. Fishing boats would come. Yeah. I said to Sharon, your mum. I'm going to go and ask, ask, ask them to, if I can... Buy some of them crabs up and we take them back to the hotel and get them cooked. So I got down. He's the guy says, if you don't damage the nest, you can take as many as you want. I didn't. Uh, I, uh, they, I got got stuck on them. So we got about twenty of these good sized crabs. Walk back up and the woman says, Are you, "Will you be sitting in the pub across the way?" I said, right across the road was like a, a pub, which is like a house with a pub in. I said, well, yeah, well, she said, oh, I'll cook them for you. She cooked, cleaned them, cooked them. We never met her before in our lives. Cooked them and brought them over to when we were sitting in the pub. And the pub there was like, you know, the big open fire, a little guy in the corner playing some sort of guitar, singing folk songs. It was like something out of an old movie. Mm. And there we are with Rod McSween with oh. one eyebrow because your father had shaved off the other one. <laughs> And we're eating crab in an old Irish pub. No it was good. heaven. It was so nice of it to it do It was though. heaven. You don't and, get that sort of stuff anywhere else. And no. on that trip, we happened to stop at another hotel. It was a driving holiday around Ireland. And you brought Rod McSween with you? Yes, because we went to see ACDC in oh. Ireland and he was their agent. So we went and after we saw the guys, we went on a driving holiday and then we went to the next village. I don't even know what it was called. And we stayed in this beautiful old hotel and they had this famous pianist who was going to perform in the hotel. And he, 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 and he, soaks, he has to soak his hands in warm water to get them going. You know, 93 or something. So he was soaking his hands in warm water before the performance and he'd heard that Daddy was in the hotel and he wanted to meet Daddy. And a very old gentleman. Do you mean Daddy Ozzy? Ozzy, yeah. Okay, just because so, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure. <laughs> so um, Daddy goes to meet him, gets this old guy's hand like this, shakes it, oh, good to meet you like this. And this man's going, oh, oh, my hands, my hands. 
<laughs> well, did you like, do it on purpose? No. no. You just, but you're not, you're not like a I big... was drunk. Oh. So we had to. But did you have your pants on? Yeah, he did. And we had to pry Ozzy off him. And again, I'm sat with Rod with one eyebrow, and he's drunk as a skunk. And I'm sat with Ozzy and this poor little old man playing the piano with one poorly. Oh, the the whole village was in this bar. (sighs) Slightly embarrassing. Yes. (laughs) So anyway, back to the paranormal event. Yes. Aside from a, a, a picturesque. Tour of uh, Ireland. Ireland. Back to my question: Has doing these investigations with me ball changed? lightning? Always ball lightning. No, that one that Irish one was very. Mm. And I've seen I've seen different ones from the old uh, school. Ireland yeah. is very uh, super. Uh, what's it called? Was it Spanish? supernatural? Supernatural. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, a lot of people I know have experienced it. You know. Well, because all the buildings are so old and there's so much history to everything and, you know. Not anymore. What do you mean? Well, they, they, they don't have the Irish pond anymore. They have the Euro now. Yeah. <laughs> when we went there, when we went there, it was really cheap. It, well, I think Ireland's still relatively, like, compared to England anyway, it's... I don't know though. Actually, what do I say? I'm yeah, I don't. Shit. I don't know either what's going on over there anymore. Unfortunately, it was great. I love it so I had much. The best time. Um. Anyway, Kelly, anything? Any paranormal? Anything? Do you? I mean, because we've had some pretty yeah. weird shit happen. I believe in energy. That's what I think. It's all about the energy. I believe which is in, what's in the house. Drugs. What's it called? <laughs> what's that thing called where the theory of where things happen over and over again at the same time, it creates a time loop? Yeah. I, I believe in that. You think it's just... I believe in deja vu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that before? Yeah, I feel like I've said that before. I have a feeling. So you just think it's, you think it's just different timelines are playing out all at once, essentially? Yes. I think I believe in energy. I think, you know, how many times have you gone into a house and you think, I don't like the vibe in here? Hold on a second. Well, this this brings up a good point. What do you think happened to you when we did the ghost hunt? Because that I've been around some fucking energy. That was some damn powerful energy. What, 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 where, where? It was, it was... Uh... When I got unwell, when I was working with Jack on his show, and I got unwell, the 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 thing was that place was very odd. The downstairs of that hotel was welcoming. Oh, there was yeah. a big, huge fireplace. It was like Everyone going into an English pub, yeah, yeah. and it was a really nice place downstairs. It was a really good vibe. Do you remember we yeah, were all yeah, sat yeah, in the, the lobby? Yeah, the oh, you went upstairs, and it was boom. It was but totally different. But what do you different. think happened to you? Because, I have no idea, Jack. Because it even... And have you, eat, had you, had you eaten? So. Yes. Yeah, we, we had she, lunch. She had lunch. We were actually eating before we went up. She was like, oh, I'll have a... She had a cup of tea before we went up to film this thing. And she sat in the chair. She put a blindfold on, headphones on. And within two minutes, she slowly went unconscious. You know when you see people faint and they go, oh. Mom, over a span of two minutes, head went back, her arms went limp. And she slowly went unconscious. So what did you do to get her bring her around? We had to call call an ambulance. She didn't. She did. Where was this in a lot? In a main This room? was when Mum went into hospital last Christmas. Remember? Wasn't she t- t- doing them shots? I don't think it would. They did. They didn't determine that it was no. from that. The only thing they said that was off with her was her electrolytes. From the shots. Sure, but when you when you have your electrolytes off. That would be like dehydration or your body's kind of going through something. But You're Mommy gonna... and I are terrible at remembering to drink water. We, we... But she was literally just drinking a cup of tea before we went up and did this thing. A cup of tea and a fucking... Well, it's still drinking something. We'd eaten lunch. It was a relatively yeah, normal... I just don't... I honestly don't know. What... I think about it a lot. What was your memory... What's your? What's the memory that you have leading up to it? About being downstairs. We were all eating together, our yeah. crew, everybody. We were having a laugh and everything was fine. And then I don't remember anything until I was going downstairs, waking up and falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep, going downstairs with everybody mm. to put me in 
The ambulance. The ambulance. And then again, I kept waking and sleeping. Mm. I don't know. And then do you remember the next day I was just like asleep all day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Had you taken anything to sleep? No, nothing. You hadn't had anything dodgy? Anything? They, <laughs> no, they, Dad, they ran every <laughs> single test imaginable. And the doctor, when, when we went to the hospital, I went to the doctor, I'm like, hey, I thought it was a TIA, which is a type of stroke because of what happened. And the doctor goes, oh, no, she fainted. She fainted. And I'm like, she didn't. And I showed the doctor the footage and the doctor's draw like hit the ground. He's like, I have no idea what that is. You remember, remember when she went into the hospital and she wasn't out and I thought she was out? Oh, yeah, that was pretty scary. Yeah. What was Wait, that? they put you to sleep and you woke up? Mid-surgery. Oh, God, don't even... That was that's, weird. that's scary. That is scary when you go in for a procedure and nice. you wake and up, nice you can hear you. what they're saying. You cannot move. Not one part of your body can you move, but you can hear what's going on. Do you know with the... You can't feel anything, but you can hear. Do you know that's what happens with the lethal injection? So, you know, the lethal injection when they execute yeah. someone, it's not one injection. So it's three. It's, it's the three. Three kick in, right? So the, they give you the first one, and that paralyzes you. So you're not able to. You're literally like in that state. You're yeah. completely paralyzed, and the the next two are what kill you. And the reason why they do that, and they don't just give you an overdose of morphine, is because I guess there's a stipulation with execution. You have to know your life is leaving your body. So Isn't you, it painful what they do to yes, you, though? It's very yes, painful. It is, and that's why they give you that first one to completely paralyze you. And then it's painful, and then you, and you, then you you're, die. You're in excruciating pain, you can't show it, and then, yeah, and then you, you stop breathing. Do you, do you think that was a paranormal thing that happened to you? I don't know. It's just I, just, I just don't know, Did you Jack. feel sort of come just, over you? Did you, did you feel a... Uh, no, I put the... Um, Sensory deprivation. Uh, the headphones on and then pulled the eye mask down and I wonder it. if it had anything to do with the sensory deprivation where it put you in just a state where you just fell asleep. It wasn't asleep because <laughs> she stopped breathing. Oh. You don't. She stopped breathing. I had to give her two recovery breaths to get her breathing again. Oh. Okay. But I did... You must have done a good job if you're still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, Jackie did a great job. Oh, thank you. Um, Dad, do you remember the show that you did in Newcastle one time, a TV show, and it was actually on Halloween? Wait, can we, before we get into that, can we can we finish out that? Because that's like okay, a, that's like a weird right. transition. Oh, you stopped breathing. Anyway, do you remember that show you did? <laughs> all right. No, but do you, like, because here's the thing. I've never been someone to believe in, like, I've done h probably a hundred paranormal investigations. What was the scariest one for you? Seeing what happened with mum, hands down. Because I've always been one to think like, oh, I do believe in ghosts. I do believe in the paranormal. I don't always believe it is the, you know, the, the spirit or consciousness of a once living human. I think it could be a bunch of different things, but I've always been one what to- What do you think it could be? With mum, with what happened, I have chosen to believe it was some kind of dark attack. Why couldn't it be? Why? And why are you now laughing? Sorry. A dark attack. Well, I don't want to say satanic because I don't think it was necessarily satanic, but I do think that was some dark energy that was attacking mom. Do you know something? When, when, when Black Sabbath first started, I used to think, the reason why it started was we used to rehearse across the road from a movie theatre. It's, it's common knowledge. And we all decided to make horror music, mm -hmm. not realising that people actually fucking passed it. When we started getting invites to cemeteries at midnight and all this, for Black Sun, and I thought, this is shit, this is not real. People are winding us up, but people actually... Do do it. And but here's but here's my thing with it, right? Everything's about balance. So if you're gonna sit there and go, Oh, I had this amazing, wonderful meditation session, I feel so light connected. I feel so connected to the good like you know, if that is possible, why, why you're, you're why, absolutely right. If you 
if, for every positive is a negative. Exactly. So if there's so yeah, if there's true. if there's angels, people believe in angels. If they believe in like a light spirit, whatever. Why isn't it possible that it's just as possible for there to be dark stuff? I have, like I've said, I've done close to a hundred paranormal investigations. What I believe we I witnessed was some kind of dark attack on mom. I don't know because it's the only explanation at this point that would make sense. It wasn't a stroke. It wasn't a seizure. It wasn't an aneurysm. It wasn't a heart attack. It wasn't fainting. It wasn't anything. She had every test imaginable. They said, you know what they, you know what their solution was. You know what one doctor suggested. Oh, it could have been some kind of narcoleptic attack. She probably was asleep. That was not asleep. She was, she was somewhere else. She stopped when. I, I mean, couldn't keep awake though. You could, you couldn't afterwards. No. But what? But energetically, you could have been absolutely drained. At first, I thought when you was, I was thinking, I was, I thought, how has she found her bank account was empty? <laughs> <laughs> that would put me in a coma. Um, put me in a fucking coma as well. I don't. I Double honestly, coma. honestly don't know. Have you had, like you said, you think about it often? What comes to mind when you think about it? Just, uh, <laughs> just the fact that I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. No idea. Yeah. No, I mean, no, I, I know. No idea what I'm not even there. I I know <laughs> that I didn't want to be left on my own in that place upstairs. Mm. You could leave me alone downstairs, but not upstairs. I didn't feel good about being on my I own. I think it's a load of bollocks. I do. Oh, thank you, my darling. I mean, <laughs> I go back and forth with it in the sense that I, I, when I mean, you're no, in I, it, you're like this. Seeing is believing. Kelly's seen some shit with, like... That, but th that's what I'm saying. I go back and forth with it because when you're in it and you can't explain it and it's happening, you're like... It does... That's exactly... So there's something to it. There's, there's definitely something to it. However... Because I you will... want it to be. No. Kelly was the biggest naysayer ever. She was making fun of us in yeah, Ghost Hunt. Until the two of you ran out the door that, of that house. When that fucking door, door opened, opened, when yeah. we said, if you're here, open that door. And it just went and opened. I was in the Octagon house. I was very scared. Yeah. <laughs> you both ran. <laughs> Oh, I just did it again. Oh, no. I'm out. Let me the f out of here right now. Oh, 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 where the f do I get out of here? Right here. There's no f way. Yep. Did the crew run with you? Everybody <laughs> ran. Yeah, but that was that the second time that that had happened. Yeah, and then there was, I think that the experience inside the Hale House in Heritage Square was very, um, it was really cool. What about the flashlights in Virginia City? That's true. That's For true. An hour and a half. It went on. What? We put flashlights down and we were saying, you know, if something's here, turn the flashlights on. And the flashlights were responding to our questions. We'd be like, hey. A, a hand roll. Yeah, just like a little tiny, like, mag light. And they, it would was turn, very cool. they would turn on and off when we would ask questions. Are you too scared to go upstairs? I just turned on. I need a friend to help me in this investigation. Have you ever gone into a house where you didn't feel at ease that you wanted to get out of? Yeah, because it's called prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell, no, tell, tell you what was really fucking creepy, Jack. When we went to that prison, in, that ex-prison, that was fucking weird. It made, that, that did make me feel creepy, that did. Yep. Fucked up. Yeah. But you could see what, it was weird. That was yeah. I've invest. I in, I went back and investigated that place and had some crazy shit happen. I bet really? you did. I saw I saw someone walk out of one cell and go into the other across the hall, like a, a shadow figure. Like I could see the stride between his legs or whatever it was. We had stuff turning on in a, in a room. Like it was just nuts. that was so. It was like an old Victorian prison, dilapidated, and it was. Fucking creepy. I though. bet it was cold in there. Freezing. Cold, yeah. damp. Stinky. Yeah. Could you spend a the night there? I, 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 I couldn't stop. I, I, don't, I don't like spending the night in haunted places. I mean, to I spend the night sleep. there, like, it would be fucking hell. I, sp I spent the night in this um, bed and breakfast outside of uh, Nashville. That would be a good show, spending a night in a really creepy place. Yeah, there's, there's shows that have done it. 
but I, I was sleeping in this in this haunted um, bed and breakfast. And did you get breakfast? I, I did, and I slept in a bed. Uh, the food was actually really good. Uh, but I was I was in the bed. I was asleep, but I woke up. But my eyes were still closed. You ever do that where yeah. you're awake but your eyes are still closed? And yeah. It's like I'll oh, just yeah. You're conscious. Yeah, you're conscious, but you're kind of telling yourself just go back to sleep. I was laid there in bed, and I could feel someone walking around my bed, pacing in the room with me. And I was just, and I was terrified. And I was just like, just go back to sleep. Just go back to sleep. Just go back to sleep. And then I was, I was waiting until sunlight because I was just so terrified in that room. It's really freaky. That happened to me once in Canada and woke up and someone had gone and nicked my suitcase. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. What about when we, we were, were in, in bed Nashville? Together. Yeah. And that guy walked into my. Oh, that's right. I was asleep. And the next thing I know, I hear like the rustling, the dogs barking, oats going crazy. No, it was Polly. It was just pre oat. It was Polly and oat. No, you didn't. Oh, have no, oat. it was just Polly. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Polly, 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 you lie. She was going crazy and. um. The door opened and this guy is just standing over me. He in climbed my... through the balcony, right? Yeah, he came. I don't know how he ended up because we were in the penthouse of yeah. the hotel. I don't know how he got onto the balcony and then came in the balcony door into my room, but it scared the what shit out of me. What did you say to him? I, I just kind of like got up from the bed and he looked at me because I was like, is this a situation where I have to run? So I kind of like was like, am I going to hit him with the phone? Remember, remember, I... remember when we were in bed and them two people came into the bed, women on the road? And you said, you woke up and said, what the fuck are you doing in here? Sorry, yeah. you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's near murder story. <laughs> so go on. No, and then he just left. But did he? But what did he say to you? Nothing. He just looked at you like, oh, I'm in this girl's room now. Yeah. So and I'm, not. like, in my bed, shitting myself. And then like, our security oh guy somehow managed to get him. Because I, it's, he shut the door. I went straight for the phone and dialed out to let him know that somebody just tried to get in my room. Yeah, and he, then... He caught him in the stairwell. Yeah. 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 Well, the guy, police get him. Yeah. And then, and then Kelly... I they, didn't want to press charges, but the police still press charges. I know. I thought to you dropped. Right. I thought you dropped the charges, and he. I, be, I think he didn't. He something. No, I because remember. in in um, I I could be really wrong saying this, but I believe in the state of Tennessee. If you it, that would you could end up on the registered sex offenders list because you broke into a woman's. Oh shit! Something something like that. Yeah, that. we should let's we'll 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 find that out. Yeah. Weird. That, that, we happened a couple of times in me and my mom and two room. Just people coming into your room. Yeah. Yeah. But this one time, I we were in bed together and I kind of felt a presence, but I'm like... And me. I, I, I and he was rough, packing man. Daddy's bag. And then Nick, Daddy, the suitcase... Daddy went on stage that night and he goes, if you see anyone in a red silk shirt in the audience, it's mine and I want my shirt back. Oh. Do you remember yeah. it was your yeah. favorite shirt? Fucking great shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dad had a thing for red silk shirts. Yeah. yeah. They're nice. Feel good on your nipples. Oh, God, Jack. I got that from Sammy Hager. <laughs> Sammy Hager's his favorite color was red. Really? I like Sammy Hager. He's a nice guy. Very nice guy. Uh, what about you? What's the scariest place you've been to? Probably the scariest place was when Daddy was playing in Ireland years and years ago. And all the hotels were um, surrounded by barbed wire and guards because you oh, couldn't I go in it. because yeah, it was at the fucking... height of the like civil IRA. war. IRA. That was and... when. Uh, what was that fucking guy? Uh, he... Oh, the um, preacher, and he and was he trying to stop you. He was trying to stop you performing in Ireland. Anyway, there was literally soldiers outside the show, big barbed wire in those. Tank blockers. Tank blockers everywhere. And everywhere you went, you had to go through those to get into the hotel, to get into the venue. That's a different kind of scary. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. Okay. Different kind of scary. Yeah, different kind of scary, Mum. Oh. We're talking like Halloween scary, not like geopolitical <laughs> no, scary. No, because I've never... <laughs> no, but right. I've never... Scary is fucking scary. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I've never... I don't know. I feel uneasy, but not like... Yeah. Scared. I mean, I've been in plenty of places where I'm like, I don't like the vibe. I, a, 
I tell you what, I fucking hate being at Welders alone, and I know you love oh, it. Oh my you god, love it. Here I, don't, I go fucking back hate to it. Welders again. I hate being at Welders alone. It's Why? I because love Welders that. is haunted as fucking shit. Thirty miles, kind of northwest of London, is Welders House, the family house that I grew up in. I had things happen here which I can't explain. I'm not the only one that's had experiences there. We heard someone, remember? I know, I know, but... You said that about the beach but... house. Beach house? You and I saw a fucking ghost at the beach house and... Do you remember In Malibu, the... do you remember? Walk down the stairs. Oh, yeah. We both sat up and looked and we saw... It was a girl it was with... Our... L... It was... I was there too. Long dark hair and you said, was that Amy? And I said, no, she's not here. We went downstairs and there was no one and we saw a girl walk down the stairs. Oh, you were both on no, something. I was. It was good. No, it was, was good there. weed, though, wasn't yeah. it? You were in the bathroom, getting ready. Dad and I were watching TV. I don't know where you were Smoking in the house, but we both sat up and we were like, it, we thought Amy was coming. Because it was in that room that was like the library. Yes, that was I Dad remember, sat yeah. sitting room. Yeah, yeah it came. I down. was in the sitting room with you, and then you no, guys no, we went were downstairs. in bed. We were in. We were laying in bed watching TV, and you could see the staircase in that sitting room through, like, out the door. Mm. And I, I, it was a long, a girl with long dark hair came walking down the stairs. Well, they say everyone in Malibu is haunted. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I've been, I've had a message. I got reached out to by the current owner's mother asking me, did you ever have any experiences in this house? No way. Yes. You mean that record producer? I guess it was. He just said, my son owns the house. I, I don't know if he was rent. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was. Why did we sell the house anyway? Because you guys were idiots. Because the kids used it as a party house. Yeah, but you sold it the summer I had Pearl. We would have been in, like, I would have fucking lived in that house with her. I know. I know I would live. Yeah. That was a mistake. Yeah. We all make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you, you, we did see something together. Yeah. Um, do you think people, there's an expectation that because, you know, you go by the Prince of Darkness, you're Ozzy Osbourne, you had a bunch of, you know, you've done a bunch of crazy shit. Do you think people actually think that, like, you do a bunch of weird, spooky shit at home? Well, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I remember... <laughs> In the Sabbath, Sabbath era, I go to something, and these kids are in the corridor of the hotel with candles. <laughs> so I go, come here, come here, Ron. I come here. I got the candles, and I go, happy birthday. <laughs> 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 but did you ever, just out of curiosity, though, did you ever? We got invites to Black, Ma Black Masses, uh, all kinds of shit used to happen. But did you, did you ever get curious about it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Geezer was, was in... We all tried a little bit about it. Mm. That's why we started wearing it. i tell you the funniest, funniest fucking story. It's not... It's, the manager, Patrick Mann, comes to the and he says, you've got to go and see this fucking... Now, now take into consideration, up until this, The Exorcist was a brand new... Effects, because before you could see the fucking strings of the baton. Right? This looked like it was fucking real. So he goes, "You got to see this film, The Exorcist." So we're in Philadelphia, and we all go sit four of us in a row. We were that fucking scared. Black Sabbath. We were that scared at the end of the thing. We wanted to go and see the Sting afterwards to get it out of our heads. And we spent all Ill, that night all ill together in the one room, which had a full room. <laughs> scared to be on our own. You guys cuddled. No, that's, it's so funny. A Black Sabbath cuddle puddle. Because <laughs> I went to see it in New York. Yeah. And it my was... brother's first wife, I had to spend the night with her. I don't know what was worse, the movie or her. But I couldn't be on my own in the room because I was terrified after seeing it. It, 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 it affected me. Yeah. I had, to, I had to watch it several times. Well, the, the new one just came out. There's have a you new, seen it? I yet? haven't. I heard it was a bit. Eh. Um, it but looks the, scary. It looks really scary, but the um, but Pearl because she knows about the new act, she keeps talking about it. She's no, like, oh. she don't want her to see it. No, no she doesn't way. do good with scary. No, no she Minnie, does not Minnie do good does. with scary. Minnie does great with it's scary. She's not phased by it at all. Nothing. 
Maybe she's not. Yeah, she's a little bit. But mom, she's I, not, mom. She's it's not. so weird. She fucking loves watching anything with big monsters and action. She loves movies. The kids, That's my girl. Yeah. <sighs> Andy and Pearl couldn't give a shit about movies. Minnie will sit through three yesterday hours of Avatar, going, no problem. Yes. <laughs> yesterday she was going, now I'm going to blow my cheeks up, Nana. I want you to go and push. push so she goes, no, now this time, Nana, do you? Really, really well. <laughs> she wanted me. me to go like this on her cheeks, and I'm like, no, I'm not. She goes, go on, go on. And I'm like, just really, really hard. So enough. you were smacking my daughter I in the face. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. She wanted me to smack her cheeks really hard so she'd make a so, noise. No, 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 no. You're not, you're not doing it good well enough. Really, really well and bang it really hard. <laughs> oh, She's hilarious. I, She's Minnie is like a little dog. I love Minnie. Yeah, I She's absolutely just, love Minnie. She's in her own world. She's fucking great, Minnie. She, uh, she'll now I'll like I'll be in the kitchen and she's in the playroom and I'll hear like full conversations. Yeah, she talks to herself, but she's playing games. Just yeah. she's got but her she imagination. Can, um, what's amazing about Minnie is that you can leave Minnie and Minnie will entertain, imagine a entertain. whole world and entertain herself for hours. Yeah. Whereas you can't do that with Andy and Pearl. That's well, she, did she That's mind incredible. sleeping on her own? Doesn't mind sleeping on her own. She doesn't. Well, in my house, yeah. She, you know, with her mum, I think she she sleeps in a bed at mum's house. But yeah, um, with me, yeah, she sleeps in her own bed and yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's a she's sweet, sweet little mini. little zebra. I <laughs> love zebra. Oh, Zebra's bottles in my car. I have to give it to you. I um th this morning, Maple was watching TV and a giraffe came on, and Maple goes zebra. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yesterday at the table, I go, I go, I go hi, and she, she goes, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> she's scared of you. Why is she I scared don't know. of that? I have no all idea. the girls would. Yeah, they them. all get. They all have a phase of being scared of him. I think you know what I think it is. I think it's because he's got I'm the Prince of Darkness. Well, he's got long hair. He's always sometimes in glass. Like there's not. I don't think they see many. Well, when they see other other kids, mum, dads, like normal. Yeah, they're not mental. <laughs> no, I'm sure they're, they're kind of with a bong at the end. Of the <laughs> the, the, yeah, he's dancing around in his underwear singing Backstreet Boys. <laughs> now, I don't want anybody to think that we didn't like the Backstreet we Boys because we Boys. love the Backstreet oh, Boys. I, I do. I love well, them. To be honest with you, for, 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 they, they had some pretty good songs. Yeah. They're great, Ozzy. Yeah, they Their live bangers. show oh, oh, oh. is the best. I had friends that when they did the reunion tour, I had a bunch of guy friends go to the Backstreet Boys show. Jack, when they play Vegas, they're yeah. one of the only acts that continuously yeah. do huge business in Vegas. Wherever yes, they go, I they're mean, great. It can't be a good song. No. no. That's my... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rap. Their lyrics are fucking great. Yeah. yeah. Some of them lyrics are great. So what kind of button to a melody? All right, well. Anyway, it's been a very interesting episode. We've had a nice argument. <laughs> We've made up. There's been some highs. There's been some lows. Can we just take a second to thank everybody that watches us, who listens to us, because we are nothing without our listeners and our viewers. So thank you very much. And to everybody out there who's going trick-or-treating with your children, or just trick-or-treating because you feel like it, because I feel like I'm going to do it this year. And be careful. Be safe, be careful, and enjoy it. Look both ways before crossing the street. <laughs> and and thank everybody all over the world that listens to us. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. It's and, uh, really cool. My own podcast is now live, Ghost and Grit. You can find Yay! it. Uh, Launch Friday the 13th. Yeah. Well, I do the thing of doing Billy Your Martin. one's coming next. Yours is going to be out in, I think, the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Is on Dewey Billy? Yeah. Oh, um, so yeah, Ghost I'm and dying Grit. to hear it, Ozzy. I haven't heard I haven't, it. You know, I haven't. I haven't watched. We're, one. we're just about to start getting it all put together, so you'll see it. Uh, but Ghost and Grit. No, you I mean, I haven't seen one of the, anything of even of this. Nothing. But we can show you off. Well, if you, want. you can you can find it by <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> the Osborns Podcast. Wherever you get your podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Why, you, don't, you're on fucking no. YouTube more than a teenager. Yeah, but why if I go? Germany, 1943. I get nothing but that. Yeah, so go to the Osborne's podcast and you'll get nothing but that. But how do you get to the Osborne's podcast? You go to the, the search, search menu and just type in the Osborne's podcast. I can't fucking type. Yes, you can. Oh, I you. can. You, you are. I, 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 All right, folks, see you next week. Bye. <laughs>